Hey guys, this is Mark Yu here again and welcome back to my channel. Last two weeks, I did a video on 11 things that you must do once you get your Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro. Thank you so much guys for the great response for the video. And after that, some of you guys actually requested that I share more tips and tricks on the Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro as well as do an N22 benchmark in my video. So this should be my last video on the Mi 10T Pro before I sell it off to give way to new phones for my channel. As you guys know that I buy my own phones to review on this channel. So if you guys appreciate my work, please do like, share and subscribe. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. So the first tip is actually by enabling video toolbox. Thank you so much for my subscriber, Hins88, for sharing this wonderful function with me a few days back. So you can actually apply this function, okay, this setting on your video app and also YouTube app. So let's dive into the function. First, go to setting, okay, and type video and you see video toolbox and also enable video toolbox if heaven and also go to manage video app and me video and mx play is actually enabled by default uh, it's actually checked by default but uh, not for youtube app so just check the youtube app and after that just go to your video okay and just on a just play a video a random video okay as you can see here you have something here on your left then swipe it to the right okay and you have this record function that you can actually record the video any video that you want okay all right then you can actually screenshot the video that you want okay and the next one is actually you can actually cast the video onto your Xiaomi TV box or your Chromecast or any of your smart TV that actually supports it. But the most interesting one is actually we want the full one. So you can actually play video sound when the screen is actually off. This is actually very useful, very unique to Xiaomi, Xiaomi phone. So let me do a demo. Press this. So as you can see here, all right. So uh, this is very useful. I mean, if you want to listen to music but you want to save more battery by turning off the screen. So, I mean, you can listen to the music, but the screen is off, so it's very useful. So after that, uh, you can actually, let me play the video, all right. This one, you can actually change the style of your video, okay? You can change the, the outdoor, to retro, to cinema and also just in black and white to your liking and the next one is actually you can change the clarity and volume of the sound to suit your mood and the most interesting one is actually you can have apps running uh, in this video okay for example you can open your okay your google play apps okay if you don't want it just swipe up and you'll be you'll be close or you can even play pubg if it suits your mood i tried before and also it's uh, very smooth it's quite interesting so it shows that how powerful the Snapdragon 865 processor as well as the uh, how optimized uh, MIUI 12 to this phone so if you don't like it just 
just swipe up all right so enough with this function so the next one is actually uh, to screenshot your screen okay all this while I only know how to screenshot is by pressing the power button and also the volume down button to screenshot okay but apparently there are two more ways to screenshot so you go to your setting okay then type screen okay take a screenshot so apparently you have few more functions okay you can enable this three fingers down and also knuckle double tap okay let me wipe the screen for, for a second so you can do a three fingers now screenshot all right or you can actually knock it to actually screenshot it's actually very very convenient so the next one is actually the notification light okay as you all know that there's a this phone actually supports notification light okay it's actually here uh, on top of the selfie cam so just type notification okay and you can see notification light so just in case it's actually disabled you can actually enable it okay so right now it's actually enabled so it will light up when you do uh, when you charge your phone okay or uh, there's actually messages whatsapp messages or your uh, facebook messages come in or any notification you have a silver bling and the next one is actually gallery app which is very very interesting okay so let me show you this uh, photo that I took last few days okay so you can just press this button okay you can beautify it you can crop it you can filter but this function that I would like to share with you guys okay is that you can actually change the scenery of the sky of the photo that you take okay for example yep if you press you can change the background of the sky you can even have rainbow okay more rainbows S sunset If you have prefer to have some moon and also aurora okay even milky way so you can do a lot of editing stuff on this gallery which is i think is quite impressive and with this this phone is actually running on mu r12 so you have this uh, uh, option to actually enable or disable uh, the app driver okay but the thing is when you tap here you i mean you can you cannot enable screen off so it's only applicable when you okay when you off the phone you tap it okay the screen will be on and you tap it you'll be off so what you can do is actually to install Poco Launcher. Type Poco at your Play Store, okay, and you come up Poco Launcher. So install it. So after you finish installing the app, just go to your app, okay, scroll down to Poco Launcher, okay, on the app and apply agree okay agree to everything so this Poco launcher is actually from Xiaomi okay so it's actually no difference from the launcher that you are using I mean maybe there's a slight difference but 
one thing good about this launcher is that you can actually enable oh you can actually enable tap okay just go to all right so check the double tap to lock screen okay so when you are at dome screen you can actually lock the screen and double tap to on double tap to off okay let's try it again double tap to off let's try it again double tap to off the screen so this is actually very very useful so it's not available in regular uh, MIUI 12 launcher but it's available on the POCO launcher so I'm done with the tips let's go to Antutu benchmark I'm so excited to see the scores but before that let me clear okay so there's nothing in the background so let me on okay so this is my first time doing the testing the until the benchmark will take few minutes feel free to enjoy the graphics rendering or just skip the end It's very smooth. The graphics renderings are very smooth. I mean, of course, this is the uh, most, the newest Snapdragon 865.
So guys, I will pause the video and share with you guys the result once it's out. There you go guys, the final score. 570,476. Mm, not bad. I think it's quite impressive. I think it's... Let me check the ranking. Okay, it's actually at the top 12, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, it feels a bit warm at the back, but nothing alarming. So let's check about the temperature. So the battery temperature is actually at 40.2 degrees and CPU is actually 36.9 degrees Celsius. So very impressive scoring. What do you think about the scoring? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much guys for all the support and the encouragement and the kind words. I really, really appreciate your support. So that's all for now for my video today. And thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.